The former children's home and accommodation for people with mental health conditions has stood empty for years and it's been targeted by vandals, leading residents of South Tyneside to brandish it in eyesore. It's the first of its kind in our region, but there's 28 other places like this across the UK. And Sue Wilson from Emmaus explains. We've searched for a long time for a site for a residence uh, for uh, our charity which will accommodate uh, 15 uh, formerly homeless people. They will work in our social enterprise and recover their self-confidence and their work skills. Uh, that's the exciting thing. There are already 28 Emmaus communities around the UK and over 300 worldwide. So it's a tried and tested system we're pretty sure that we can make a success of it. The property was first spotted by Emmaus around 18 months ago and already had planning permission that was the correct usage for Emmaus's application. It's on course to be fully renovated, as you can see, quite a big job, but there has been a few critics of the plan for the building and Sue wants to allay those fears. Well, I have to say we've had a very warm welcome in South Shields. People have been prepared to listen uh, to what it's all about and by and large we've received more encouragement than detractors. Uh, but it is natural for people to be a little concerned as to what is coming into their neighbourhood. Um, this, is, this is a low risk type of development. Our guys, and they won't all be guys, but most of them are, uh, will work a 35 hour week and this is just where they will live in the evenings. Uh, so I don't think anyone has anything to worry about. We will have full-time staff who will be responsible for discipline in the residence and at work. Uh, there's no alcohol or drugs allowed in this building. Uh, and most people just want to get their lives back on track and we feel that everybody deserves a second chance. The 15 bedroom building is set to be ready for this summer and the residents will work within Emmaus's social enterprise, mainly in renovating furniture which is donated to the charity and then sold on to generate funds. Residents will typically spend eight to 10 months in the building and in that time, they've hopefully gained enough skills and confidence to move on and live independently. Nathan Lee, Maiden Tynawea in South Shields.